The Department of Defense's momentous hypersonics endeavor requires a strong network of talent from across the DoD, industry and academia, three sectors that will be represented at Executive Biz 2023 Hypersonics Forum on August 15. Executive Mosaic CEO Jim Garrison presented the 2023 WASH 100 award plaque to Anthony Robbins, Vice President of NVIDIA's Federal Business, during the former's visit to the company's Herndon, Virginia office in July. Ross Niebergall, the newly appointed president of the Aerojet Rocketdyne segment of L3 Harris Technologies, said the parent company expects its acquisition of the propulsion systems maker to help facilitate its entry into the missiles and munitions market. Microsoft, Google, Anthropic and OpenAI have established an industry body that seeks to advance responsible and safe development of frontier artificial intelligence models. Booz Allen Hamilton will continue its professional programmatic support for the U.S. Marine Corps Installations Command Headquarters, under a potential nine-month, $22.1 million bridge task order. Ultra Intelligence and Communications has partnered with Texas A&M University to pursue the integration of systems designed to help warfighters connect with autonomous vehicles. The Defense Information Systems Agency has selected Palantir Technology Software to automate the coordination of mid-band spectrum sharing between the Department of Defense and commercial spectrum licensees. HII's Ingalls Shipbuilding Division concluded acceptance sea trials of the Calhoun a legend-class national security cutter for the U.S. Coast Guard. 2023 Hypersonics Forum on August 15, 2023. Visit executivebiz.com slash events. MITRE has developed an artificial intelligence-driven toolset designed to accelerate disability evaluation and determination processes for at-risk service members and veterans. Oracle has created the Secure Cloud Computing Architecture Landing Zone, a cloud-native platform to help the Department of Defense securely run mission-critical workloads and store data qualified under different security impact levels of the Defense Information Systems Agency.